Welcome to another Ask Katrina. The question for today is, Katrina, I hear you talking about the shift that executives have to make from focusing on problems to focusing on opportunity. Why is that the case? Tell me more. So let's go ahead and dive into that answer. Ultimately, what we have to understand is, why do we think that problems are where we need to be in the first place? Why is that our natural inclination or where we gravitate to? And the answer is what we always consistently talk about here together. It's the fact that it takes women on average 10 years to reach an executive seat. And through that promotion pathway, we have been taught to focus on problems, right? Because before you become executive in the director role or in the manager role, your job is to put out fires. Your job is to ensure that the business is still moving forward effectively. And if there's anything in the way, right? If you're a train going down the track and there's something on the tracks, your job is to stop the train, clear it off, and then get the train moving as quickly as possible because you're on the production side. You're on the development side. You're on the action-taking side that ultimately generates the results that the company needs to then be able to deliver to the customer. So you've been trained from the time that you started to look for problems because your job is to solve them, clear the path, move the business forward, right? Well, the difference is when you step into the executive seat, you're not the problem solver anymore. You're not the individual that makes sure the train is running on the track and it's going to be at the station on time. That's no longer your role. Your role now is very strategic. Your role is to not look for problems to fix. Your role is to look for opportunities in ways in which you can help the organization and business grow, scale, expand, change with the times, stay at the top of the leaderboard when it comes to being you know, in the industry, right? You want the company that you're working for at the top. Your role as an executive and your role of your peers, your executive peers, is to come in and say, okay, how's the economy changing? How do we fit into that? What's happening in this other industry? Can we tap into that? What's happening, right, globally that we need to be aware of? How can we play in that space? That's what you're doing. You're asking the question and looking for opportunities and ways that the business can grow navigate, change, scale, and be bigger and better. Ultimately, maybe if you're not even looking at bigger and better, you're at least looking at how do you maintain? Because if you don't change with the times, we all know. If we don't change the times as leaders, we're done. A company is the same way. If a company doesn't change with the times, it's going to be gone. So the brand that you work for, the company brand that you work for, must stay relevant. Therefore, part of creating your executive brand is flipping the concept of focusing on problems to focusing on opportunities, because that's part of your executive brand, which means you're creating a relevant brand. Okay, you got that? See all that goes together? Problems are for doers. Focusing on opportunity and how to grow and change and keep your company relevant and at the top of the pack and generating revenue and being successful because it's a for-profit business. That's what executives do. And that is why it's required that you shift your focus because solving problems isn't going to help you exec correctly. But looking for opportunities to help the company maintain and grow their own success is exactly what you should be doing. That is how you add value as an executive. Got it? All right. Go and be legendary.